Okay, we're on. Um, so a little very quick introduction to the Course in Miracles. Um, one of my teachers, Dr. Hawkins, who had 23 illnesses, and he did the Course in Miracles and all 23 illnesses left him. And uh, he ran a group for people with um, severe illnesses like cancer and AIDS. And they also their illnesses released doing the Course in Miracles. And I had many Ill illnesses, kidney failure, gout, asthma, and they all released as I did the Course in Miracles. So it was, I, I saw there was in, immense power in doing the lessons on a daily basis. Now I know like a lot of people are introduced to the Course via uh, certain teachers like Marianne Williamson, uh, recently there's Gabriel Bernstein. But, um, but if you go into the languaging of the Course it's quite heavy. And um, but once you get familiar with it, um, then you recognise it. It'll often say, it'll often say like uh, we're trying to access something within the realm uh, that's formless. So formless means uh, another metaphor would be like if my thoughts and my feelings are like clouds, when I recognise that I'm the sky or the observer or the eternal observer or that stillness which is not a passing thought or a cloud within the stillness or the sky, then that's the whole thing. I'm just releasing my addiction to being in the clouds or in the thoughts. So that's, you know, each lesson in the course is helping you to, to recognize that thing and they're releasing it. Now it talks about, the Course in Miracles talks about illusions and uh, the Holy Spirit, um, not so much in the, in the lessons. I, I only do the lessons, but you know, the, um, no, holy means uh, whole or oneness, i.e. not in separation. When I'm in my thoughts or feelings and I think I am a thought or, or, a, or a little feeling, then I feel separated. But when I'm in the, the sky or the observer, I feel whole or just the oneness. You see, so, so that's all uh, the, you know, that's what the languaging, when I'm, identified, here's the word, when I'm like identified, I think I am my thoughts or I am my feelings on my body, then I, the Course would say, then I experience myself in a world of fear and separation, meaning I'm in a world of illusions. Because the truth is I'm not in fear or separated. But that's a spiritual experience or a recognition of that I'm the sky or the observer and can never be in separation. So then it makes sense. Oh, whenever it says illusions, I'm in my thoughts or in my emotions or in my body, thinking I'm disconnected from the world and people. And so I'm in what I'd be called an illusory world. I'm in the illusions of separation and fear. Um, <clears throat> sometimes the Course will talk to you as if your truth is real, like illusions are real, like yes, you are a body and you need to forgive a person. And later it'll say it's a total illusion. You are the eternal, the stillness, the sky, that formless substrate. So if you get, if you get that, then it starts to make sense. Um, uh, the languaging can be difficult, but then you'll see it's sometimes talking to you as if your reality is real, i.e. that fear and separation being in a body disconnected from other bodies is the reality, and you should forgive other bodies. And then later it's saying, you're never a body, you're never your thoughts, you're the eternal, formless, timeless, uh, stillness that has never been born or never died. So then you can see, uh, once you get those simple things, and as you read the Course, you'll start to see what it's trying to do in helping you release all, all your ideas. Uh, I do strongly recommend, I was talking to someone about the Course, I mean I've heard so many people who got, who who found the Course and didn't like it when they first picked it up, and, and then it kept reappearing in their life time after time. It's like, you know, one day you're gonna, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna have to get through your, your, your aversion to the course and get stuck in. So it, come back, it comes back every few years, you know, until you do. I do highly recommend, if you're listening to this video or to me now, that you probably, I mean, the course doesn't really care when you do it. You can either do it now or you can wait till you're nearly dead or not do it at all. But I think, <laughs> but I, th I would say it's a better option to start sooner than, than keep delaying it. And to get, you know, if you join a group, 
or join buddies or have a, have a, a course buddy or something, um, it's w well worthwhile because it, it, even though the languaging is tough, it's like heavy duty, very heavy duty. I, I really recommend committing to doing one lesson a day. Even if you don't understand it, do as well as you can and get on to the next lesson and, and join a group or ask people who are a bit further on to explain things and you'll, you'll start to see miracles sh shifting. You know, like, um, you know, I was, you know, I've had so many miracles and actually you'll start to, you know, it'll be like blasé, expecting miracles constantly, meeting the right people at the right time, you know, needing a room and that miraculously happening through, through miracles uh, and, uh, and those things which are the one-off miracle that hardly ever happen, happen continuously and regularly because you're now, once you get out of your suppressed feelings and thoughts and you start to tune into those stillness and the peace and that oneness and that serenity, it's like miracles happen all the time because it's being in that mess that cuts you off from the constant miracles.